Breaking news! Breaking news! Welcome to the Alan Show! Welcome to the Earthquake Report! Yeah! Guys, 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 we know the Earth move and earthquakes happen. Nothing more simple than that. There's a science behind it, but we know earthquakes when they happen, they don't tell us where or when. But there's this pattern that, like I follow him all the time, it gives you an idea, just a vague idea, but it still is a, it's a much science to discover, right? Um, I love the whole idea of one day us being able to predict earthquake with plenty and ample of time so that at least lives can be saved and people don't have to get hurt on this right because only a few seconds <clears throat> can give you enough time to protect yourself in the event of a an earthquake all right guys today our pacific rim is rather quiet but we still have a, a quake right here in uh, in the five five point um, in the area of Colombia, also in Argentina, a four point. And also we having a little bit of activity here in the area of Southern California. Let's bring this to uh, a terrain so that we can have a better idea. Right here, right? And we're gonna zoom in this a bit more. Right here, I'm doing this format here because it's too hot in my little cocoon, my little office over there, so this is uh, a little cooler right here where the AC is. So thank you uh, for those guys tuning in, subscribing, please. If you comment, thank you very much. Uh, you know, guys, I'm doing this uh, as part of my, you know, stay healthy during this pandemic, right? It's been five months. Today is, uh, I believe, day 158 here in Southern California since the emergency began. So this keeps me a little busy, gives me something to do. I, I take it like a... Uh, arts and crafts, you know, when you were in school and you did all this. So for me, this is a little bit of um, getting my mind off what's going on around without, without, without uh, um, uh, being realistic as what's going on. Because besides pandemic, right, we still having these hurricanes, uh, earthquakes. We having riots in some areas. We having uh, civil unrest around the world. And so all these uh, issues happening all at the same time, they're like a little bundle, right, of ah! <laughs> a little bundle of <laughs> people, come on, <laughs> a lot of things happening, right? So this gives me, I always had, I, I had my first earthquake uh, when I was a very little kid. And still today, I still have those memories impregnated. And also, when I was a kid, uh, there was a hurricane in the Caribbean. It was a giant, a lot of people died. Uh, and uh, <coughs> and uh, it, it took our home from the foundation. It was a strong home too. And it just, so I, I learned to respect these, uh, these acts of mother nature and give nature, you know, give the earth its respect, right? We, we are here passing by, right? We are here visitors. So uh, it's going to do what it's going to do. And all we can do is respect it. And thank God we started to have this technology that gives us time. Like in the events of hurricanes, for example, we get time to get out of the way, right? Go farther like we did. We did. If we would have stayed in that home, I wouldn't be here today. So we did. And guess what? We came back and I could not believe it. And there was another event that happened right when I was there, but uh, I'll tell you later. <laughs> so did they. Um, guys, uh, so you can see that these events are preventable, right? If we uh, practice prudence, right? Let's not be like Mr. Domi here. He does all the crazy things, so I don't have to do it. <laughs> Because I can put it back together, and but me, no. So there's a lot of things out there. Sometimes we put ourselves at risk, right, by trying to challenge Mother Nature, or also in the events of uh, uh, social stuff, we also put ourselves at risk because maybe we're curious or we want to be part of something, but just be careful out there, right? So guys, let's talk about, not much to talk about in terms of... Um, 
uh, earthquakes, uh, but that doesn't mean that earthquakes are not going to strike at any minute. Remember, last, last uh, at the beginning of the week, I was talking about being quiet, and then all of a sudden, that in the in the Pacific uh, in the Pacific area, right, right where the Philippines, Indonesia, Japan, I was saying, God is so strikingly quiet, and all of a sudden we had a 6.7, 6.8, 6.9, back to back to back, two in Indonesia and one in Philippines. Everybody out there, hi, how are you? I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, so guys, we know that these things can happen at any minute. They can strike without warning. So, so that we can illustrate that, let's go to the map right here so I can show you, right? Let's go. This is, I like doing it this way, although I feel more comfortable in my chair. Uh, here's, uh, here's what we have. We have the ring of fire being rather quiet, which it makes it very suspicious. I don't like it when it's like this because mega quakes, right, seven and over, right, happens every 30 days. The last time we had one was at 7.8, and I'll show you right now in Alaska. So here's what I'm talking about. Um, let's go to uh, the 30 day, right here, right, all magnitude. So guys, sometimes when we see this quietness, right, that doesn't mean that this ring of fire doesn't light up. Let's light up this map, right? So you can see the power of Mother Nature right here, right? Let's enlarge it a little bit so you can see. Look at all of this in the last 30 days, ladies and gentlemen, last 30 days. So let's go to uh, the biggest event right here. Look, it's that 7.8 in Perryville, Alaska. You, since then, look at this, right? Now you can see how serious this matter is if you live within those immediate areas that are constantly bombarded by earthquakes and aftershocks, force shocks, and so forth, even the possibilities of tsunamis, right? So guys, let's um, be prepared, right? Let's have our emergency kits, our water, make sure that we always refresh in that water. So so if you have uh, products that you, that you um, that you um, uh, uh, prep with, right? Then if, if you uh, feel like, oh, maybe it's getting too old, consume that and then buy new ones so that way you replenish your your supply and it's always uh, uh, fresh, right? So water especially, you don't wanna have, you know, I mean, just for yourself, right? It doesn't hurt, right? So it's an extra, an extra thing that you can do for you. It's fun to prepare because when you, when you need it and it's there, you're gonna feel like a genius, right? Versus like, oh, what do I do next? And then also family, pets, right? We have to look after one another, right? So guys, you can see how important is to prepare to make sure that, that we are aware of what's going on. You don't wanna be a victim, you wanna be a victor. You wanna be able to say, hey, listen, I'm not afraid. I don't do this because I wanna be, no. It's because I know these things happen and it will happen and then if I'm not ready, guess what, right? So we know that these things happen without warning. A hurricane, we see it coming, we see it develop, but this happens without a warning. But if we okay, the roads are not okay, the house is not okay, but you have what you need, then everything kind of like settles in a little better, right? So this is what this show is about, to come out of the situations, events, without any scratches, right? You all began with the pandemic, and here I am doing this. Just, you know, if you like, please comment, share, subscribe. <laughs> if you do, I love my, I got like some couple of dozen subscribers, but if you do like it, if you do feel entertained or anyway, just please subscribe and let's build up this channel. Let's see what happens, right? You never know. All right, so let's keep going here. Uh, so we had uh, 6.1 right here in Alaska also, right? And then uh, when we go to uh, Asia, right? When we go to Philippines and Indonesia, now we, we see it here show up on my left side here, 6.9, right? right? So some serious tsunamis, uh, uh, warnings and, and, and serious earthquakes, right? Thank God, minor injuries. I believe there was one person that perished on the Philippine uh, earthquake. My 
blessings go to uh, people who are being uh, affected by this. So, but like I said, prepare, prepare, prepare. It never hurts. Let's all be geniuses. Let's not be like Mr. Domi here, right? <laughs> okay. So here we go, guys. Uh, you can see uh, here South America has some action here in the Ring of Fire where, where it's Chile, Argentina, Peru, Ecuador, and all the way up to uh, Colombia now, right? With a 5.4 in Pizarro, Colombia at a depth of 10 kilometers. So that was a little, a little, um, a little bit shallow, not quite as much. But then also we had that um, Tanzania, I believe. Uh, where is it? Yeah, Tanzania 6.0, very unusual quake. We've been having a lot of activity here in this area, guys. The area of the uh, that will be the east coast of Africa, right? So there you have it, guys. See how serious this can be. Sometimes nothing happens, and all of a sudden the world is upside down. So. Let's be prepared, let's be engaged, right? Now we have information, so we have no excuse. So now real quick, guys, so we, before we go, here's the <clears throat> courtesy of Windy here. We have a Genevieve is still causing trouble here in the areas of the Pacific, Southern California, where, I, where I'm from, might have some uh, remnants of this system. So I'm keeping a good eye on it because it can bring high temperature moisture, right? Like that, because we're having a heat wave right now. It's going all the way in through the weekend and also bringing that humidity that makes it almost impossible to go outside. So uh, here we go. All right, guys, whenever. <laughs> there you have it, right? It created high tide in this area, erosion. I saw some roads being been uh, affected by it but you see it went from category one three uh, all the way to four and then it went down to category one and now it's just regrouping and we don't know what it's going to do at this point anything can happen the waters are getting warmer further north so it could be northbound even though it doesn't become um, a hurricane again or a typhoon, how you, how you want to call it. Uh, it. It may be a strong tropical storm. It may be a possibility that some of these bands might hit Southern California and bring us rain and temperature in the mountains or, right? Who knows? We, we're going to keep an eye on it uh, and see what it develops into, right? Our Earth, <laughs> it's a constant change, right? Only one thing is constant is change, right? So, here we go. Uh, let's talk about this other uh, uh, 14, right? 14 was out here uh, heading towards the, the coast of Honduras and Jamaica and all of a sudden made a left turn, sharp south, like, like this. And now it's heading towards San Andreas, towards uh, Costa Rica. I'm not quite there yet. I haven't got all the info yet, but um, just giving you an idea what it did right here. It's an amazing sharp turn. Uh, right here uh, yeah see San Andreas is right here and this is where it, it went straight 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 and just before he hit this area here of Honduras the northern Caribbean right he just made a, a left 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 dog I think it's left dog yeah so like an elbow right and now he's heading towards San Andreas and this is the area of Nicaragua Nicaragua and Costa Rica so even Panama, just pay attention, right? Pay attention, see what it does, and hopefully it doesn't become anything in your area. But if it does, be prepared. Water, food, and all the things that you need for at least three days. You don't want to depend on emergencies because it's, it's, imagine the lines, imagine, right? If you can do it for yourself, right? Just get that backpack ready, prepare. And if anything, if you never need it, then guess what? What did you lose, right? You can always eat it again. So. All right, guys, this is a, a little bit of uh, the report for today. I'm going to give you another report, which is the stock market, right? Just to give you an idea. Just, I don't promote anything, but just to money and emergencies go together. Because when economies are good and money is flowing, then there is a possibility to help people easier in the events of um, um, you know, a catastrophe or an emergency, a national emergency, right? So 
Dow Jones, Dow Jones, 27,739, 46, 46, 47% up, uh, excuse me, 47. 47 points up today, right? <clears throat> I'm a little off because of, I have the AC here and, and it's it's humid. It's still not quite, but Nasdaq. Nasdaq keeps hitting all these all-time highs. Today, 11,264 points close, 118 points up. I remember in the 2000 when Nasdaq went up like 30 points, it was like... <laughs> Because <laughs> it was like 2,000 something. Now it's 11,000, almost 300. But guess what? Today it hit another all-time high at 11,283 points, all right? So the S&P, I don't have my car today, but the guys that make all those wonderful cars, the big, 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 big things, right? 3,385, up 10 points. And also... Uh, uh, S&P 500 hit an all-time high yesterday. It was just slightly down from 33.99, 3,399 to 3,385, just slightly below. So it didn't quite reach another new high today, but yesterday it did. So the, the Nasdaq is trailing against all of them, but uh, let's see how I did today. But <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> All right, so another thing that we like doing here is let's check out all those metals. You know, things are moving along, right? Kitco, let's see what it says. Let's see what it says today. Gold, 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 gold. Where is gold? Here we go. Gold is, uh, I guess, let's see what it calls at. Precious metals. Mm-hmm. Well, it's asking about $1,952. Let me see. This one is, there you go. Markets. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, metals. Here we go. All right, guys. Uh, here we go. Sorry for the delay. I couldn't open this one quite. Uh, gold was $1,958. Silver, $27.50. I'm a silver. I like silver. <laughs> so, uh, platinum, $934. So, silver is uh, $27.50. Uh, remember, gold here, all-time high, over 2000 about 2000 almost 2100 I think. And silver has been trailing because I think the all-time high was like $50 or something. So, it's still right there, middle of the road, about $27, $28. Bucks. So... Uh, the other thing that I like to um, point out is, uh, let's see, crypto, the Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Let's see what it does, Bitcoin. Uh, real quick, before we go, here we go, it's coming up. I got, I'm, I'm going to print this out next time, so we go, uh, but it's chaotic. I like my show like this, because, you know, the earth, everything, right? No, nothing is square, nothing is a T-square. Everything is a motion. Everything is changing, right? So I like to keep it that way. Eleven thousand eight hundred forty-three dollars for a Bitcoin today. So that one also was over twelve thousand just recently. So just food for thoughts, right? Okay, guys, thank you very much for um, tuning in. Um, one second first. Okay, so guys, remember this: uh, emergency events. We have to be prepared, right? And also. Beware when those things are happening, not to be in the middle, in the past, especially hurricanes, that we can actually uh, stay away from it, right? Curiosity, right? So, here we go. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. I need some encouragement, so I want to see that at least one person is listening out there. <laughs> so, if you don't mind, I will appreciate your generosity, okay? So... Do you believe in aliens? <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to The Alan Show. This is The Earthquake Report.